Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Hello and welcome back to Gillette's Snooker Saturday, bringing you all the shots, pots and kicks from all of today's big games. Oh, what a chance. Well, Willie Thorne went oohs and ahs. Willie, what's going on? Well, in fairness, Jeff, I mean, what a great chance it was for Barry Pinches. I mean, he's just potted an unbelievable red. He's finished absolutely inch perfect on the black, misses the unmissable black, and now it's tied on the cushion. And now it's a great chance for what harder. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks very much, Willie. Now, last we heard, Mark Selby was all over Dominic Dale. Is that still the case, John Virgo? Yeah, well, uh, not much has changed here at the moment, Jeff. Uh, and the reason I say that is, um, Selby has only got this black here to take the second frame, if you bear with me, Jeff. Yeah, so it looks like uh, he's gone on. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? It's in! It looked like it was 2-0. It's not. It's one apiece. Jaws rattled on table 10, Steve Davis. Yes, um, marvellous shot for Barry Hawkins. Um, just caught the near jaw. Um, tough for him to get back into the frame as the wheel started to fall off the car. Free ball, given away in a very dangerous position on table 9, JP. It was actually John Higgins, Jeff. He's actually tried to roll up behind the yellow, believe it or not, and he's missed it by the proverbial mile. He likes to play that one again, that's for sure. Now, last time we heard it was a very cagey affair between Dot and Ebden. Is that still the case, Bill Yates? Well, to be honest, look, really, Jeff, we've just had to endure a 26 minute tactical battle with no ball potted whatsoever. In fact, Simon Dane was the play that one of the gentlemen in the crowd went out saying he was about to watch it on CFAX. Now let's see how Rory McLeod is getting on against the 2005 world champion, Sean Murphy. Adam McManus. Yeah, it's quite an even game here at the moment. Jeff Rory's just made a nice break of 45, but Sean now is out of the marks him with a chance to clear up. As ever, top punditry there from Adam McManus. Well, what's going on, Willie Thorne? Dear, oh dear, oh dear, Jeff. I mean, it's getting worse here. I mean, what a great chance for Watada. I mean, he's played a great run. Now he's then got to bring the pig into play. So he has to catch it half ball. Instead, he catches it quarter ball, and in doing so, finds himself tied on the cushion. So he's now betwixt the between with a very smelly shot against the cushion. Poor shot. Now, how's Mark Allen getting on against the rocket? Ken Doherty. Yeah, not too bad, Jeff, you know. I mean, it's just my to break a turdy try, you know, and there but still trials by try fines to one. Dominic Dale making a real fight of it on table three. JV. Yeah, well, uh, he certainly is, Jeff. He's uh, just played a shot all around the table, and he's finished absolutely inch perfect on the black. He was one a piece. It's now two frames to one. Dominic Dale. Thanks very much, JB. We've got a re-rack here, Jeff. Steve Davis, I hear in the background. What's going on, Steve? Uh, yes, lots of uh, tip tapping in the pack. Um, Michaela Tab, no option. I had to call a re-rack. Interesting. It's about it, really, Jeff. Now, last time we heard, Ebden Dot was getting a little bit bogged down. How's it going, Phil Yates? Well, in a few words, Jeff, it's not. Actually, the most interesting part of this fight is when that same gentleman returned to the arena, shouting at Ebden and Dot, Look like a tortoise, you both look like a tortoise. Look like a tortoise, you both look like a tortoise. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks very much there, Phil. Dear, 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 why have you stunned it? A stunned Willie Thorne, Willie! Well, I don't believe it's Jeff again, it's Watana. I mean, what a great chance this was. He's finished absolutely perfect on the black, couldn't pick the white up and place it better by hand. And now all he's got to do is roll it along the cushion to give the pocket every chance. But in fairness, what he's done, he's stood it, and now he's jawed it. So, frame or missed. Bad shot. Join us after the break for much more Gillette Snooker Saturday.